So, are y'all ready to be my boyfriend who I live with, yet y'all don't even know what he looks like? If so, you clicked on the right video. That's right, I am going to be showing you guys slash announcing who my boyfriend is. Before we talk to you guys together, I just want to say some things on my mind. So I just wanted to address how are things going to look going forward. He might be in some videos, but I definitely wouldn't expect him to be in all or most of my videos. And I'm definitely not going to be making this a relationship channel. I've recently gotten a lot better about not sharing details that I don't actually want to share. So that being said, no matter how many times you guys ask, we're really only gonna answer questions that we're comfortable answering together. And it's just cause we wanna keep things private. But who knows, maybe I'll post more than I think. All that being said, I won't waste any more time. I'm ready to share with you one of the most important people in my life, my boyfriend, Abram. This is my boyfriend, Abram Ali. A lot of you guessed correctly because we've been friends for a while, so he used to be my videos and we like did life insurance together and all that kind of stuff. So we've been friends for a long time. So you guys guessed it. Starting off with a banger. How did we meet? So we met <laughs> playing video games. You guys probably remember back when I would stream, he was like friends with me. And then the summer that I moved to Texas, we were still friends and he was like, hey, I have a bunch of friends out here that you'd probably get along with. Like one of my best friends, fiance, would you guys would probably get along really well, which is Charlie. And so I came out to visit all of them. You guys probably saw that video. And then I was like, okay, that seems like a chill vibe. I'm gonna move out there because I'm lonely. And then we were just like best friends since then and we kind of had like our friend group go and so we'd all hang out like all the time and then it just kind of progressed we started doing life insurance together and that was that was a thumbs down and then we went on our first date around like valentine's day of this year and was that what that we was? were dating yes oh where was that <laughs> okay <laughs> you're the one who asked Woo! how old are you 32 <laughs> what i'm serious anyways he's 23 same difference he was Little born off. Exposing my birth date. Because why not? <laughs> you don't say my birth date. People know my birth date. Yeah, but you're a public figure. You're just like putting <laughs> what's next to my social and his, security. Yeah, social security number and his credit card number. Anyway, he's two years older than me. I'm 21. He's 23. So of course everyone wants to know, like, are you a Christian? That kind of stuff. So I've already given her a lot of good answers. She's gonna cut them out. <laughs> so yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> you made too many jokes. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's been a Christian like his whole life. He was actually one of the friends that like told me about Christianity, so. How has our relationship impacted our faith? Well, I feel like, <laughs> now I want to make a joke. Now I feel like why it's so awkward to just get asked questions. I feel like I question. being in this relationship has just grown my faith because I've never really been there in like a Jesus-centered relationship before and it's very different and it makes not only our relationship easier, I mean, yeah. I don't know what else I was gonna say. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Do we plan on getting married and how soon? <laughs> Are you asking me the question as a part of it or is that the formal asking of the question? That's the formal asking of the question. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we'll be married within five years? Yeah. You're not planning on marrying me? No, because you're marrying me. Air horn. Oh, okay. <clears throat> you get answer So, that. I mean, yeah, we are planning on getting married. Is that how it works? All I know is when he sat me down in front of his parents and said, I asked him to be my girlfriend, he literally said, because I'm going to marry her. Oh. Um, I don't know how soon. We're just one day at a time. Take God's plan. What are your hobbies? Like, what kind of things do you do when you're not at work? I'm a professional gamer. Imagine um, you're actually a professional gamer. <laughs> I would never grow up kind of, What about play with Phoenix? That's not a hobby. What is that? An obligation. You a duty. play with Phoenix out of obligation, not because yeah. you like to? Well, I, we weren't talking about that. We are talking about, you know, you brought it up, so it's an obligation. Mm -hmm. I said I didn't like to. I mean, you can do a job and sometimes like it, just like my job. Okay. <laughs> Caught in action. <laughs> do you want kids? I mean, you gotta take over the world somehow, right? The, what are the benefits to keeping our relationship private? I'll answer this one because you don't really care. I think it's just <laughs> nice to not have like the pressure of what other people think about my relationship because sometimes that can affect me and just like not having to worry about every little thing or like trying to act like we're perfect and all those kind of things. It's just really nice to have like parts <clears throat> of my life that are so important to me, so private. And because yeah, you like broadcasted your whole life for like how many years? <laughs> like six or seven or something like that. Yeah, you're super smart. <laughs> yeah, like every detail of my life. <laughs> I mean, I still kept like a decent amount private, like family drama and stuff like that, but I mean... Oh, also he literally just like doesn't have social media, so it's like, okay, I'm just gonna post about our relationship when he never signed up for that, so 
There's that. What's your favorite Bible verse? Wait, let's guess each other's. What do you think mine is? I don't is? have a favorite Bible verse. Yes, you do. No, and I, I don't. know it. You always tell me that it's this one. I know. Okay, well, his favorite Bible verse. It's not. Yes, it is. I don't have favorites. It's John 1. It's not. 1 through. No, like, see, that's verse his. That's not. That, okay, that's John not 1 favorite. 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was that's, God. That's already in, I think, chapter 2. <laughs> no, that's like verse. You're like already in chapter 4. So. Okay, what's my favorite verse? Ezekiel 2320. <laughs> no, that's your favorite. Don't look it up. John something or other. Mm hmm. Oh, my first are John. I didn't even realize. Yeah, but mine's, you know. My favorite verse is John is 15, 5. 50, oh, yeah, the vines and the, yeah. the branches. I'm the vine, you are the branches. What are our biggest differences that make us work? I would say, like, we work really well together because I'm more of, like, an emotional thinker and he's more of, like, a logical thinker. So, so a thinker? And more of, like, a realist and I'm more of, like, an optimist. So I sometimes have way too high expectations and he can kind of help bring me down and then sometimes I can maybe hype him up a little bit more and I think it's like a really good balance. What do you do for work? <laughs> I'm, I'm an account manager at an insurance agency. I work with private investigators. I didn't that's even it. know like how to explain what you did. I just yeah, I know. That's, then you started saying yeah. your stuff. Yeah. People want to know, do we like pray, read our Bible, talk about God, all that stuff outside of church settings? I mean, what's your answer to that? I'm pretty yes. sure it's like every day. <laughs> yeah, that's like half or more of what we talk about. So, uh, have we met each other's family? So, I've met his family. I met his family when we were friends last Thanksgiving. And they were just giving me like Christian advice, basically, I guess. I don't know. They wanted to meet me. And then I hung out with them a couple times since then. And now we're like besties. He's met my mom when we were friends when I first moved oh, yeah. here but not since we've been dating or like, he hasn't met any of my other family. He's played games with my brother before. Well, both my brothers actually. Well, part of the reason we've been filming this video is he's going to town with me to meet my entire family around Halloween, the first week of November. Um, are you excited to meet my family? Are you nervous at all? Cause there's like 30 people you're gonna meet. Well, I just get emotionally drained very fast. Yeah, people, he's kind but, of more I mean, of an introvert. I guess I'm pretty excited. But you're a good people person. Like I've never seen him not get along with someone. First, like you do customer service a lot at your job and you always My first job was working at Chick-fil-A and I was a completely introverted person. I hated everybody, but I still had to He's figure out how to talk to He's learned to be a little bit more extroverted. So learned straight skill, well, I nurture. appreciate that you put effort into the learned skill because I have a big family. But you're used to that. Like he has four siblings. There's five siblings in, or five kids in his family. So what is your favorite thing about me? <laughs> me doing this much? Can't pick just too many things. It's a whole list. Now you have to pick an actual thing. You tried to get out of that one. <laughs> <laughs> Try to give the blanket answer. Um, well, it depends who you ask. Um, Anyways. What point of the day? Or what's one thing you really like about me? Uh, I like that you're kind. Am I? Yay. My favorite thing about you is that you're very confident. Like, you know who you are, you're unapologetic, and you're just like, this is how I am. So take it or leave it. I think that's something that I wish I was better at. So I really value that in you. Well, vice versa. <laughs> being kind. <laughs> Wait, did we just choose opposite? Like, cause that's kind of like sometimes being so sure of yourself can be unkind sometimes. And sometimes being kind, you can kind of put yourself to the side. So are we just opposites? <laughs> we just chose the, op the thing that we want from each other in ourselves. I think Abram's favorite thing about me is that I convinced him to get Phoenix. <laughs> Good kitty. So obviously y'all know we live together. So what are your, or what do you think is the hardest or easiest parts of living together? Do I pick one or the other? Like what is the hardest and then what oh, is the Oh, I easiest? can't choose. No. Uh, easiest is you make me food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you make me food too. Yeah. Okay. I didn't say that that was, you know, Okay, good exclusive. point. I guess it makes sense. Like being able to split, like you don't have to make every single one yeah. of your own meals. Hardest. Um, what if it's not I'm the hardest, too, but I'm just, just too perfect. you know, one of mm -hmm. a things, you know, not the hardest. Okay, just one of the hardest. Uh, okay, one of the hardest. That I won't oh, play 12 rounds of Lord of the Rings with you. Yeah, that is true. That you, like, want to go to bed by, like, 10 p.m. That is true. And you I'm... wake up at, like, 9 a.m. Like, you sleep from 10 to 10. It's <laughs> he bizarre. He makes fun of me because I literally need, like, 12 hours of sleep. It's like you're a newborn or, like, an octogenarian. <laughs> like, can't you sleep so much? <laughs> He'll come say bye to me because he's leaving for work and I'm just, like, passed out in bed. <laughs> bye. <laughs>
But it works out perfect because around the time he's leaving is when I need to get ready for work. So my favorite thing about living together is just that we get to spend like way more time together because I am one of those people that loves, I forget what they call it. Like I think as kids, it's like co-play or whatever, where it's like you're in the same room, you're doing different activities. Like he's doing what he likes, I'm doing what I like, but we're in the same room. And then I would say the hardest part about living together but our like ultimate goals is to be like financially free and keep growing like both of us have pretty good jobs right now where we have lots of opportunity to grow so just to continue to grow in like our careers and right now our biggest goal is kind of just like um saving money so that we can eventually do all the things that cost a lot of money such as have a wedding buy a house <laughs> uh all of those kind of things anything else you want to add for goals um <laughs> Did you, did you say when, that one? But when? Do you think we'll be married within five years? Yeah. What about three years? Yeah. Two? One? See, this is what I always do to him. No, I'm kidding. We're not really in any rush. We're just kind of... What era are you in? He has no idea what that means. The Renaissance? <laughs> it's like, I'm in what? my blank era. Like, I'm in my healing era. I'm in my romance oh? era. I'm in my driving era. I'm driving. <laughs> What? Romance? Like the in, romantic period? You're in your career era. What? Well, I will probably be in era? my career era for until I retire, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. The premise of this question, I still don't Like, know I'm in my businesswoman era. Like, the era that you're in. Like, <laughs> you, like if you, you just, just got your heart you broken, can't. you might be like, I'm in my healing era. You're... You're explaining the term with the term. You can't do that. It doesn't make any sense. It's like this the the phase of life that you're in. Being an adult? Like, 
He's in his adulting era. I guess. I pay taxes era. <laughs> What's your favorite physical attribute about me? Your eyes. I was gonna say your eyes. Ooh, get wrecked, nerd. I think I just... Um, anyways. Oh. We're gonna be in our hanging out with our friends era now, so... Thank you guys so much I'm for watching. Maybe stay tuned for part two because I feel like he liked this a lot more than he thought he would. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Say bye. Bye.